So we just moved uh, down a block and we're on fifth. This is uh, what's left of the Banana Republic. You can see inside just more damage and devastation. And outside, I mean, you just got broken, broken hangers and, you know, a, a tie that somebody left with the tag still on it. Mannequins all over the sidewalks here and just garbage everywhere. This is what we're seeing this morning and people are showing up. Uh, like this gentleman over here behind us, you know, coming to take pictures. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm coming to actually, I'm coming to, uh, to help uh, clean up. You're helping to clean up? I want to take some pictures first, you know what I'm saying? How do, what do you think when you're standing out here watching this? I think it's, I think it's, uh, dis I think it's disrespecting the, uh, you know, uh, George Floyd, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the protesters that was like here legitimately. I think it's disrespecting that and honoring him, mm -hmm. you know, because people come out, come out, of, I, I'm not trying to, Call no names, but people come out here from other counties, you know, with other with other agendas, you know, and just uh, kind of put a black eye on what, you know, this this protest was all about last night and the night before, you know. So so yeah, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like uh, kind of upset about, you know, because they piggybacked off of uh, a peaceful demonstration, you know, for for, for some uh, thug like activities, you know what I'm saying? I think that was, you know, it's just not it's, it's yeah. not a good look. Yep. You know, so I'm down here today just to just uh, make making everybody know that black life matters and uh, and we're not about all that. We're about, you know, peace and justice. You know, that's all. Thank you so much. You're we welcome. appreciate it. And a lot of people I've talked to this morning echoing what he's saying this morning. And he's going to go help clean up this mess. It's going to take a lot of work, Jake. Uh, I mean, he just said it so well. It was just disrespectful. I mean, this was a day for peaceful protests hijacked by those. I feel like every time we see you today, Mimi, you're at a new store and it looks the same. The looting, I just can't believe it. It's heartbreaking, right? It is. And I, I, I mean, I've shopped in these stores, you know, I've, yeah. I've been in these stores. I've walked these streets a lot. And, um, you know, just to see many of them, of course, were boarded up because they were closed. But now to see them all tagged and just this destruction uh, and, and especially for those small business owners, you know, yes, these are giant corporations, retail stores. There are some small business owners you just heard from in Michael's piece where, you know, these are handmade things. They're, they He has poured his heart and soul into this business and building it up in, in just a matter of hours. It's destroyed. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's just hope that the good guys come in today. It's got a lot of cleanup to do. Mimi, be safe down there. We'll keep checking back in. Yeah here on this Sunday morning. So uh, the businesses down there again have a big job ahead of them. King 5's Callie Greenberg is on the streets of Seattle as well. Callie, where are you now? Looks like you're at uh, Westlake Park. What's it look like there? Yeah, just across the street. So we want to talk about cleanup, right? I mean, just look at this. This is a complete contrast to what Mimi is showing you of all that shattered glass. And that is because people are coming out and helping clean up the garbage the broken glass, uh, the clothes that have been thrown all over the ground. Uh, you know, you see three people right here. There's another individual across the street. If you look over the uh, behind our photographer now, there's another individual there. In fact, we have the walk sign. We're going to cross the street here. And there was actually, we've been showing you all morning where one of the cars burned and there was all the ash that was left there. That's being cleaned up now by volunteers who have come out and want to help. They call this home and they say we care about our home. In fact, you can see it here now. They were actually shoveling uh, the ash into garbage bags. We spoke to one of the individuals who was cleaning this up and he drove in from Woodenville. He said he's going to be here until he runs out of trash bags again because this is his home and he wants to show that he cares about his home. I think we have a bite from him queued up. Uh, let's hear what he had to say. And another guy down here who said he'd been here all night scraping the graffiti off a window. It's awesome. I was like, is this your business? No, I'm just here because I can. And there's more of that than there is of the people who are breaking stuff. You know, if you're bent on breaking stuff, you can break a lot of stuff in a short period of time. This doesn't take a lot of people to do this. It's gonna take a lot of us to clean up the mess though. All right, so take a look at this right now. They just opened a new garbage bag and they are scooping um, the ash and what was left of this vehicle that was taken away around three o'clock this morning. It actually burned some of the cement, it looks like. Uh, and so they're working on this. I've actually seen them scooping up glass at another business, but these are just two of a growing number of people who are coming downtown to help clean up the dozens of storefronts that have been destroyed and the garbage that is in the street. In fact, all you have to do is a quick Facebook search and you can find multiple 
organized events of people who are planning to come out here to help clean up because I mean, this is a community effort, as you just heard uh, from Brian over my shoulder here. It took a few people to make this mess, but it's going to take a lot of people to clean it up. So I'm expecting to see a lot more people down here throughout the day. Yeah. But for now, we'll send it back to you. Callie Greenberg live downtown, and she is right. That is the good of Seattle right there.